Hello again everyone, Team Black Tooth here again with another Gwent video. This is New Gwent now. I'm going to refer to it as New Gwent. There's going to be a lot more videos of these. And hopefully the old Gwent will disappear and New Gwent will become normal Gwent. You know what I mean. So we're going to discuss this new card um, that was demonstrated, Epidemic. And it's a neutral card and a special card and it has the Plague effect. Now Plague works similar to Scorch. So the Scorch effect, when played, would target the highest strength non-hero cards and destroy that card and put it in the discard pile. And any cards on the battlefield that had the same strength on both your opponent's side and your side. So if I had a 6 strength minion and that was the highest strength on the board at the time and someone played Scorch, the 6 strength minion, providing it wasn't a hero, heroes just get completely bypassed, uh, would go into the discard pile and any other 6 strength minion that was non-hero would also get destroyed. It was very powerful Scorch for taking down big bonded abilities, um, so people who have gone up to 24, 32 with Commander's Horns and stuff. It was really good at effectively taking that out and that would pretty much decimate the opponent's turn because you can destroy many cards, you want to try and use it against many cards. Now what the Plague Effect does is basically the opposite, instead of coming for the highest strength cards, it will come for the lowest strength cards. So you're probably going to take away 0 strength, 1 strength, 2 strength. You know, that type of thing. Depending on what's being played on the board, 6 strength could be the lowest the lowest cards. And at first, you might think, okay, that doesn't sound too good because you obviously want to take away as much strength from the opponent as possible. And so you want to attack from the top with Scorch. But there's several benefits to having Plague destroy the lowest strength cards. A small benefit might be that some of the lower strength cards can be the most annoying. They can be good ability cards. So for example, Kewani Siege Experts used to have morale boost which added one to everyone on the siege row. Obviously that might be a good card to target. There might be quite a few of them as well so you could get rid of quite a few of those cards. I think you could mix Plague into a deck strategy quite well. If you had a deck say that had tons and tons and tons of really high strength cards um, and that's what you're putting down, a lot of high strength cards then you wouldn't want to play Scorch at all. That would be a devastating thing to do. You just wouldn't put them in your deck. But this way you can still put uh, Epidemic in your deck and other Plague effects because then you've got high strength cards and that's your whole game plan. You're putting high strength cards down and then destroying the low strength cards from behind, which is another good idea. Probably the most interesting strategy to use Epidemic for is possibly weather effects. Now we know weather effects have quite a lot of different uses now, they're not just clearly bringing them down to one strength, but that is how you would use it alongside plague effects. So you'd, you'd place a weather effect down and everything would get reduced to one, even the highest strength cards would get reduced to one, maybe two if there was a commander's horn, but then everything would get put down to two on that particular row. And then you wham them with a plague and all those high strength cards just disappear, you know? And so it's like a, a double whammy with scorch really. It's kind of a double whammy scorch, but it really reduces loads of different um, strength cards all down to one. So you could have like loads of fours, a five, a six, a twenty-seven, and they'd all go down to one. And then you play them. So it's really two cards for a really good effect if they've got loads of varying strengths. So really, it's a very good card. I think it's going to be very good. You'd have to build your deck around having high strength and try not. You couldn't just like put it in randomly um, because if you were going to put it in randomly you'd want to put randomly in Scorch instead because unless you are got a plan on what to do with Plague um, then you're probably not going to want to take the lower strength on that you are going to want to take the higher strength out and you can sort of guarantee that the opponent is going to put high strength cards down because they want to win so this is not a card that you want to randomly put into your deck it's a card that you want to build a strategy around and hopefully utilize that strategy quite well. The one last thing I wanted to mention is obviously weather effects, they are changing the way that works. There's, I've seen quite a few cards, especially for monsters like Foglets, where they get buffed in where, certain weather effects. So you do have to take that into account. Obviously we'll know more about that in the time, but it's a pretty decent card. Got to put some strategy into it. I really like that. Thanks for watching guys.